It's good, fight fans. This is Ashley's Corner. Shout out to the Lions Den boxing community. All right, um, I wanted to talk about uh, a fight that could happen in the meantime, or a fight that could possibly be coming up, and we just don't know yet. Uh, and that is Frank Martin versus William Cepeda. Now, I want everybody to hear me out on this video. Um, William Cepeda is somebody that is a high volume puncher where he's located right now in the, um, in the rankings just seems highly likely that the ghost Frank Martin might be his dancing partner coming up since Wim Zepeda, uh, turned down Shakura Stevenson fight and Shakura Stevenson actually, well, when he moved up, um, a few people turned down um, a fight with him, and William Cepeda was one of those guys. William Cepeda fought Jojo Diaz just coming out, and um, in my opinion, I said as far as Frank Martin that he might have coming up might be the best resume at 135 because of who he is, the name, and because his promoter is Earl Spence Jr. I said that they were going to look at him as – a uh, prodigy son or a retired fighter son, even though he's not related to Earl Spence, he's like the picking. People are calling him out, but he's vicious. He's the ghost, just like uh, Chris Colbert called him out, but kind of reneged on that after he's seen that beautiful performance that he put on um, Riviera. But if you can look at the screen, this is the W. This, I mean, this is 135 pounds. This is the WBA. Ryan Garcia is fighting Javante Davis coming up, which is ranked number one. Ryan Garcia is Lomachenko's ranked number four, and that's who Devin Haney's fighting. So it leaves number two and number three to fend for themselves. That's why I'm making this video versus Frank Martin, which is ranked number two, and William Zepeda, which is ranked number three. And number five is guess who? Shakur Stevenson. Um, and Shakur Stevenson has already been turned down by number three and number six. Okay, which is William Zepeda and Isaac Cruz. So it makes sense to me that right now, since Devin Haney and Javante Davis has a fight, that Frank Martin and William Zepeda would keep themselves busy to fight the winner of such fight in the future. Either Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia um, versus Javante Davis, whoever, however it goes. Um, that's why another reason why I'm making Frank Martin versus William Cepeda video. I think it will be an actual an action packed fight. You know, the fact that William Zepeda always throw, has a very high volume and Frank Martin has very intelligent feet and power. So let's get to these specs real quick. William Zepeda is 27 and 0. 27 wins, no losses. He has 23 knockouts. All right. High knockout rating. His knockout percentage is 85.19%. He's been pro for seven years. He's He has 124 rounds under his belt as a pro. He's 26 years old. He's a southpaw, 5'9", with a 69-inch reach. And he usually mostly fights out of Mexico, and that's probably the reason why the high, very high knockout rating because of his work rate is high, and he do got a little bit of pop, okay? Um, but he fights out of Mexico. He lives in Mexico as well, so watch out for that clenbuterol level. But um, Hector Tana, Tadagara, I believe is how you pronounce his name, he was 19-0 and 0 when he fought Zepeda. Zepeda made him retire on his stool in the sixth round, and that was in 2021. Usually he fights two or three times a year, and um, he had his last three, I mean, uh, had three fights last year, and he's coming off a unanimous decision victory versus uh, Jojo Diaz, which is Joseph Diaz in uh, October 2022, which is last year. That is what he's coming off of. Um, so he's due for another fight. If he do wants to, if he do want to make uh, three fights happen this year, it should be coming up very soon. All right, since his last fight was in October. When it comes to Frank Martin, Frank Martin specs is seventeen and zero. He has twelve knockouts. His knockout percentage is seven. His percentage is seventy point fifty nine percent. He has only eighty two rounds up under his belt as a professional. He's been pro for six years. The ghost is twenty eight years old. He's a southpaw as well as Zepeda. He is 5'8 with a 68-inch reach. So 
Zepeda only got an inch in height and an inch and a half in reach over um, Martin. And Martin is two years older than him. Martin was born in Detroit and he lives in Indianapolis right now. Um, and he also usually fights two or three times a year. But his last three opponents was Duno, Jackson Martinez, and Michelle Riviera. All right. Back to back to back hard fight, not hard fights, but step up fights all last year. Back to back fights, one in January, one in July, and one in December. He TKO'd Duno in four rounds. He TKO'd Martinez in the tenth, and he's coming off of a very impressive victory over a twenty four and O Michelle Riviera by unanimous decision. This would be an awesome action packed firefight. The biggest question is. Will William Cepeda fight Frank Martin? I know Frank Martin would do that, but will William Cepeda do that? He already turned down Shakura Stevenson, so I don't know really what he's looking for out of this fight game or out of 135 pounds. But um, for him to be so highly ranked and for the two champions already to be uh, tied up into a fight, Devin Haney's tied into a fight and to a contract and might be moving up and might have Shakura Stevenson problems. And then you have... Um, Javante Davis, which is fighting Ryan Garcia, might be fighting for a rematch already set in stone. If not, then that's when these fighters might have the shot at the biggest draw in boxing, which is that well in this uh weight class, which is Javante Davis or the undisputed champion, which is Devin Haney. But until they get freed up, these fighters are sitting on their gloves. So you might as well fight each other, make it interesting, put put a name on your resume, because this right here is a fight that I believe anybody that know either one of these fighters will definitely watch. You can put this up under a pay-per-view card on a co-main event, and I'll, I'll buy it. Because this, this fight right here looks to be very highly entertaining. Always like and subscribe to the channel. Peace.